Good evening, everybody. Thank you. This is VBS orientation for summer 2023 Stellar, which is Shine Your Light. And I want to thank each and every one of my leaders for being here. I'm really grateful for you. And we're going to start off with a word of prayer. And then after we have prayer, we're going to watch a video to let us know how Stellar works. All right? And then we'll, uh, we'll have a little talk. Let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to serve you through Vacation Bible School. Thank you so much for all the volunteers that are here. I pray that you pour your Holy Spirit on each and every one of us so that um, we can start a movement through Vacation Bible School. Thank you so much for the opportunity to serve you and, um, and not, giving, not giving this opportunity to the rocks because you can make the rocks talk which are allowing us to do it for you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Alright, so we're going to watch a video on how it works. I do what I do. 
Well, when I was a little girl, I wanted to share Jesus with the world. So I would ask strangers all the time if they knew Jesus. And when I got older, it became taboo to do that. So I sang. I invited kids in my neighborhood ch uh, to church. I invited them to PBS. We would sing when we would play uh, play outside in the neighborhood. We would sing our our PBS songs like Father Abraham and many sons. That was one of their favorites. I remember it. And I was like, but I sing that one. Anyway, PBS was such a great tool to share Christ's love with the world. My children's ministry leader at church was my hero. She was so nice, and she loved all the kids so much. And all my Sabbath school teachers were like that too. They gave their best, and we all could tell. Jesus is coming soon. And our job as Christians is to share the good news with the world, that Jesus died for our sins, and he loves us, and he's coming again to take us to heaven so we can never cry again or be sad but live forever in a place where everyone gets along and loves each other. Doesn't that sound amazing? <laughs> so we shine our lights on each other for eternity in heaven. Won't that be incredible? The theme for BBS this year is shining Jesus' light. And I want to start a movement at Laguna Niguel SD Church. I want us to work together as children, early teens, youth, all the way up to the elderly sharing our light together through our gifts. Jesus said in Mark 6, 15, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So I want to start with our own community. Can we start with our neighborhood, guys? Can we do that? I'm going to let you know which Sabbath that we do that, but one Sabbath before VBS, a team of us is going to go out with the kids at church and let our little ones give flyers to all the neighbors around the neighborhood until all our flyers are gone. That's a start. I have bigger plans for you guys, though. This is, a, this is just the beginning. There's a quote by a famous football player named Jerry Rice. He said, the enemy of the best is the good. If you're always settling with what's good, you'll never be the best. So let's give VBS our best. Are you ready to shine Jesus' light? Amen. Let's watch some training videos now. All right? I'm going to grab these handouts because I have some handouts to give to you after. Welcome to the 
PBS. Yep, get ready for a wild and wonderful week. But more than anything, you're going to have fun. Plus, you get the privilege of seeing kids grow in their relationship with God. Over the years, Groove CBS consistently rates number one in customer satisfaction. Well, that just means you and your peers tell us you're having a great experience with Groove. For the next few minutes, we'll outline why we think that is. So, we've compiled a few tips from our crew that created and tested this CBS. Over the years, we've learned what will make your experience and your kids' experience the best. Our team has been there and done that, and here's our best advice. First, follow the program as it's written. The activities in each leader manual have been tested, tweaked, and retested with real kids and real teachers to make them the best for you. You have our guarantee that these directions are the best way to lead your station. Your station leaders will love our field test findings. These are things we discovered worked sometimes the hard way at our field tests. They let you know what to do and what not to do. Remember, we've made mistakes so you don't have to. Be sure to say the Bible point each day. Each day, everything focuses on one easy to remember Bible point. The idea is that kids have one solid, simple Bible truth to take home and put into practice. Hearing you say the Bible point helps kids remember it and understand it. And when kids shout back their response, Shout Jesus Christ! You can be sure they're engaged and solidifying the Bible point. I've come in at the end, so I've heard what the basic message was of that day, and they get it. Be a great leader by learning and using kids' names. When someone calls you by name in a kind way, you feel that they care. It really is a simple way to make kids feel special. Each day, your goal is to speak each child's name in love. What a powerful and easy way to show God's love. By the way, the small mixed age crews ensure kids will hear their names in a loving way each day. We've built it into the program. Next, be sure to participate. If you didn't come to BBS to stand around and talk with other adults, get involved in the games. Sing out loud during sing and play. Get into the Bible adventures. During discussion times, share your own thoughts and insights. When kids hear your own stories of how God has made a difference in your life, we promise that makes an impact on the kids. Circle so up. In most stations, you'll have a time for discussion and sharing. That's the time for your crew to form a small, knee-to-knee -knee circle. Wait until your crew members are circled up before beginning the discussion time. Leaders across the country have tried this and found that it really does make a difference. Station leaders encourage crew leaders to make discussion circles before you continue. Make circling up part of the fun. One crew leader always place their head in the circle center for everyone to surround. In a crew circle, kids and leaders are focusing on each other. The discussion is lively and everyone is engaged. Take a few extra seconds so you can get face to face with kids in your crew. It really helps. It's not good enough to just sit in a circle. If you really sit knee to knee and circle up and look in each other's eyes, the whole dynamic changes. It's so much more engaging than everybody just kind of sitting whichever way they want to and pretending to be engaged. Station leaders, call on crew leaders to lend a hand. If people are talking when you want to give instructions, just say, crew leaders, let's make sure everyone can hear these instructions. Or, if you see that kids are distracted with their sciencey fun gizmos during Bible adventures, say, crew leaders, Let's move all of your crew bags and fun stuff to the wall. Remember, each crew leader is responsible for five kids. If each one lends a hand, your job is a snack. Listen up. As you can see, there's a lot going on at PBS, so be sure to listen up. Station leaders may need help getting kids to tune in or stop one activity and begin another. So be sure to listen to the station leaders so you can help kids with each activity. Thanks for giving your time and energy to show kids God's love. 
You're making a difference in the lives of kids and adults in your community. It's our prayer that you see God transform your church through VBS. All right, so crew leaders are also known as counselors. <laughs> so that's what we've asked for. We've asked for a lot of your, a lot of you kids to become counselors. And um, what I have here is I have a map for everybody. It's a color map, and it's going to let you know where all the stations are. So I'm going to pass this out, or come on up and, and grab your, you guys can share. Thank you, that's okay, I have enough. So come on up and, and go ahead and grab your, <laughs> that way that's all over. And will you pass it out? Thank you so much. Okay, so and that will let you know where all the stations are. And um, what we call our crew leaders will be four adults. We're going to um, combine them into four different groups, that way we have four different um, rotations and the crew leaders which will be an adult will be like oh this is the red group this is the orange group this is the yellow group this is the purple group and this year we'll have um, lanyards with colors and then their ID badge and the shirts will all be white that way if you need to use them next year or if you don't have enough there you can use one from last year um, all right so I also have a list of of all the main people here, and I don't have enough, but I have some in the office. I didn't have I, would, I didn't have time to uh, staple them together, pages one and two. So I have a few of these. Those of you who don't get them, please come to me later, and I'll give you a list of all the main people. Your names should be on here, and if you have any questions, you can always um, call me or huh? yeah, maybe you can pass them out. I, I have more, so we can also pass them out later. All right, so next, let's see what's next here. We're done. Okay, we're going to go on to the discipline video. You guys ready for that? Sure. Steven, yay! What's up? Hey, Steven. Hey, Steven. Hey, kids laughing and running as they play high energy games. You'll see kids talking excitedly as they eat crazy snacks. And you'll see small groups being pretty active as they explore exciting Bible adventures. But what you probably won't see are discipline problems. That's because at Group CBS, discipline is a breeze. Over the years, we've talked with BBS directors like you. Many of them spend a lot of time and energy coming up with elaborate rules or contests to ensure that kids sit still and behave. A list of rules or a contest won't eliminate discipline problems. But we've discovered something that does. Here are the key elements of groups BBS that make discipline issues vanish. First, be sure to place kids in small mixed age crews. Trust us. This works. We've been testing this for plenty of years, and thousands of churches of all sizes have adopted this innovative, effective model. The mixed age crew family splits up clicks and allows you to separate kids who tend to get into trouble when they're together. But more than that, it allows kids to cooperate rather than compete. You'll see older kids helping younger ones, younger kids inspiring older kids to play and be creative. Kids will be more focused on the activities than impressing or showing off for their peer group. Tradition has been to keep crews in like all the sixth grade boys together and all the fifth grade girls together. You tend to have a lot more problems when you have kids in those kind of crew settings, but Putting them in multi-ages where you have a, a, you know, older kids and boys and girls mixed together, it just works amazing. My name is Reagan, my name is Mariana, and we were just sitting in our groups and we became best friends. Me and Ala, Reagan is like the sweetest little girl I've ever had. We sit next to each other yeah. and she was my little sister. We love each other. <laughs> now, we said small mixed age groups. 
That word small is a big factor in making your DBS a success. We want to give your kids and volunteers the best possible experience, and we absolutely know they work. Don't be tempted to cram eight or more kids into one crew because you think it's too hard to find volunteers. Believe me, your volunteer recruitment problems will perpetuate if you don't use small, mixed age groups. Intentionally, round up a few more crew leaders so you have small, manageable crews. We guarantee that this will make all the difference in the world. Not only will your crew leaders have a great time and feel successful, but kids will get so much more out of every activity, discussion, and experience. It's worth a little extra effort on the recruiting front. Build your crews with no more than five kids. Smaller is better. By keeping the crews very small and developing the intimate relationships, that's part of, or the majority of, I think, what makes our jobs for leaders so easy this week. Here's something else that makes discipline a breeze. Crew roles. Each day, crew members will choose one of five jobs. Kids can choose to be a craft person, a guide, materials manager, or the schedule supervisor. There's even one person assigned to say thanks to each station leader. Kids look forward to their jobs because crew roles give each child a leadership role, something important to contribute each day. Kids are valued and can shine in areas where they excel and even try new things. This welcome added responsibility keeps kids busy and focused and less likely to misbehave. Finally, the stations at BBS keep kids moving at least every 20 minutes. Not only are kids moving between stations, but during each station, kids will have time to move around, talk, laugh, and play. With all this activity built in, who has the time or energy to get bored or distracted? And here's the big bonus. Not only do discipline problems vanish, but kids are experiencing God's Word. They're building lasting relationships. And you're not adding on pointless rules or contests. Instead, you can focus on spending time with the kids God has brought to your DBS. I have them right over here. 
for you. Okay, and then just return them after VBS so that we can use them again if necessary. And now it's just time for Q&A. Any Q&A about VBS that you need me to answer? Let me get the, the microphone, please, sorry. The manual is, yes, so you have it. So you have the manual. It looks like this. So all our station leaders, We'll have one of these, and I've also emailed each of you digital uh, digital copies. So this is oh, oh this is not fun. okay here. Oh, this is the Imagination Station. So this would belong to Yvonne, Imagination Station. Yeah, this is for you. And then you also have a digital copy, but some people are better with the hard copy, which is why we did both. So you should have the email and password. Yes. Yes, I do. All the all the stations have um, have what? Let's see. So anyone who needs one, come on up and get it. Any other questions? Let's see. Spotlight PBS. Oh, there you go. And Galactic Snacks. We have Gilbert and Julie and I. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm going to send the email for the Sterling Volunteers uh, by this Monday. I have to um, make sure that I send it correctly with all the instructions. And it has, it's really great, it has a, a training for the volunteers that helps you watch out for some of the red flags for the kids to make sure that they're safe. Um, yeah. Do you have a sample schedule? I do have a sample schedule as well that I can, um, that I can send to you. Good. Moises, this is uh, for you. This is the Spotlight PBS. And I have Stellar Life Bible Adventures. That's going to be Marco Leon. Hey, guys. All right. Any other questions? <laughs> if no questions, then we can... Oh, yes. I need Yes, there will be multiple groups at a station um, since there are several small groups. So for instance, the red group is going to have a crew leader, and it'll be an, an adult crew leader, and then all the uh, all the counselors, whether adult or youth, are going to be um, in charge of six, five to seven kids. So it could be anywhere from 18 to 25 kids for one station, you know, station red, station, uh, not station, but um, group red or yellow or green or blue or whatever. So that's the way it'll be here. And the, so they'll be together with, um, with about 20 kids, but they'll have one counselor for every five to six kids. Yeah. Yes? So everybody eating together at the same time for how many minutes? For Galactic Snacks, everybody will eat at the same time for 20 minutes. And yes, Mrs. Glass. So we're going to be able to tell the kids apart by a name badge. We have, um, yeah, the name badges are going to be in, inside of a, um, a, a lanyard that has a certain color. So all the preschool, for instance, may have purple. And then, uh, that way we know the, the, the ones with the purple lanyard are the preschoolers. And then the elementary, um, it's just going to be based by, you know, colors as well as far as like the 18 to 25 kids, they'll be like the red group. But each counselor will have, you know, we may have like uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, we have four counselors in, in each group. So you, it's four different crew leaders, so it would be like 16 counselors total, which is ideal. Yes? So the kid room will be separated by the So the kid room, will be um, decorated by, will it be decorated by the decorating committee? <laughs> Sorry to put you on the spot. Yeah, it's the cradle roll room, the kid bid. Um, I just need to know about the advance and okay. they haven't searched the materials for it. So I think perhaps yes. even more people who want to help decorate it. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think, I think it should be fine. The, um, the decorating committee has um, a, a couple people who have volunteered that work in, um, that work in construction or in decorating. You know, Heidi's our decorator. She's the, the actual interior decorator, so it's going to be 
Well, it's going to be really pretty. Um, any other questions? Yes. So the, the number of snacks should be 100. We're planning on um, about 100 kids, because every year it's about 100 kids. Usually it's about 20 preschoolers, 15 to 20, and then about 80 elementary kids. Yes? And I'm sorry, I'm asking this, but just how much time between passage for passage? Oh, five minutes. So between each station, it's five minutes. You have five minutes to move and go on to the next station. Any other questions? Yes, yeah, so it's going to look like this. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be from, it's going to start at 9 a.m. So 9 to 9.25, we're going to do the sing and play blast off. And then 9.30 to um, 9.50, one, one, one group will go into Imagination Station, one will go into Kidvid, one will go into Bible Adventures, and one will go into All Star Games. So there's four different um, groups and then four different stations that are happening at the same time. And as far as the snacks go, uh, we have the snacks are in the morning with the volunteers, and then the all all the kids together because we want to. We want to keep the volunteers and then give the kids the galactic snacks, which are going to be part of the um, part of the theme. For example, pretzels one day uh, are going to represent Saturn, and of course, water for all the volunteers and the children. Let's see, you have uh, <clears throat> Laura Williams here for the, for the volunteers. Yes, she's uh, she's volunteering to help. Yeah. Help. Not, huh? She's not, uh, coordinating that. No, she's not coordinating, she's just helping. So, are you doing volunteer snacks? I don't want to put you on the spot, so, okay. but are you? <laughs> the galactic snacks will be going on in the middle. Um, I don't, let me see, do I have a schedule here? Oh yes, okay, so the Galactic Stacks are, let me see, Sing and Play Glass Off, 925, 930 to 945, 9 to 950, 955, 10 to 1015. So the Galactic Stacks will be at 1020. They're going to be right in the middle. 1020 to 1040. And for the kids, they can probably, the, the small ones, can probably take a bathroom break during that time. Unless they have to go before. And that's why they have uh, adults and, and counselors and all that to help. Yes. Yes. Blankets on the floor, yes, we can uh, purchase them or we can use something that we already have. So all, all the supplies that my leaders have, what I would like you to do is I'd like you to um, go on whichever website that you need to go on to find what you need. And usually it's Amazon and you can, uh, you can send it to Stephanie and then I'll approve it based on if we have it already or not. And then the same thing with um, group.com or Stella, I think it's stellar.com. There's a sign-in page where you can put your email and your password in there and um, then you just email that to Stephanie. Whatever supplies that you need on, on Stellar, we can purchase for you as well. So just send it to the office at www.lnsdaoffice at gmail.com. All right? Yes, Cindy. Would it be okay if I ask so who we need to um, the young, uh, anyone, uh -huh. who would be interested in um, helping me leave like, a Bible verse each time? Or sure. 
There's a specific part that takes place in the opening and closing. Okay. Would it be okay if I reached out to the different counselors and then that would have the same person every time going up there? Sure. That would like, yeah. Yeah. And there, there may be also kids that have not volunteered that may want to do that as well. That's why we're going to put it up on YouTube. So those of you who want to watch it again, if you if um, if you forgot like a certain section, you're always welcome to look and, that up and watch it again. And I have a question for these back rows over here. Would any of you guys be interested in helping us lead music with the hand motions and pumping up the kids? I'd be here. Yeah. I think that we think about that. it and then it's so yeah. Fun. And what I think is really great about um, about um, VBS is that there are so many things that you can do to, to find where your gift is. There's singing, there's dancing, the, doing the, the moves for, for uh, VBS. You have to learn the, that choreography. And it's really important to learn the choreography because if you don't know it, then you're not going to be able to teach the kids. But um, yeah, so, and then there's skits, there's counselors, there's so many different things. You can, you can even help in the stations if you want. There's no downtime. In the old schedule, there would always be a downtime for, for sessions, right? The downtime is the five minutes that you're going through. Oh, okay. So from 9 to 12, no, there's no real downtime. It's just um, going from station to station and giving kids five minutes to go from station to station. I meant downtime for, the, for those rooms, for the people running the rooms. There's no downtime for that. Oh, um, the galactic snacks would be your downtime. Being, uh, that, that would be 1020 to 1040, so that gives you time to um, have a little. It's just to reset. Yeah. So if you would do two. You would do two stations, and then you can reset, uh, reset, and then do two more stations. Yeah. Oh, and just for by the way, I always find that even when I can't do something, God always When you can't do something, God always I'm shocked that you gave me crafts of all the things I'm not going to Well, I've seen you, Yvonne. Yvonne, I've seen you, though. You are so good with kids, and you're so good with like being creative that I was like, man, she's going to pump them up. But I always say, when we don't have it, we know that he will bless us. That's, so, yes. we don't have it ourselves, big deal. Uh -huh. He blesses us. Yeah, so, and they're super easy anyway. They come with instructions and not much, not much to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I think there's somebody that, uh, I think there's one person that volunteered to help with the Little Kate. Well. Little Kate. Yeah. I saw him. Yeah, so you have a helper there. Um, two. So there's two sessions before and two sessions after. Which gives them time to set up and then take it down. So that actually helps yeah. them out, but it's all in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, so just that 20 minute period, but um, we're going to have helpers so because so many kids to pass, you know, to help you pass it out. And So um, yes, you can request anything that you need. You can go out there in the in the yard, look around, see where you would like to uh, place the tables in the in the playground, and then just let us know. And and Michael Morgan will help me um, set up. Yes. Well, we'll we set up the Sunday before BBS. Yeah. So the and that's another thing. The Sunday before BBS is on the 17th, and that's when we kind of just all come together as a family and we help each other with whatever we need, with the, with the, the rooms or um, with the training. There's going to be two trainings after the 4th of July, so uh, either a Wednesday or a Thursday, uh, two trainings. Like right now, it's 7 to 8 o'clock, we'll do the same thing. Two Wednesdays. Two Wednesdays or, or two Thursdays at 7 p.m. Huh? Well, if we can do two Wednesdays uh, right after Fourth of July, that would be really great because then if you guys go through the dry run and you know um, you know what to expect by the time BBS comes, it's going to be super easy for you. 
And then you can prepare the, the helpers as well. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you don't have to get it done by, by Monday. I, I hope that you, you get it done as, as soon as possible, but I, I, I said that I'm going to send it between tomorrow and Monday. Yes, it works online, so there's a link that I sent to your email. You you press that link, and then you, you sign in, and you answer all the questions, and then it takes you, um, it takes you to the website, and at that website, you answer questions, and um, they show you a, a video, and that between, um, they show you like a few videos, and then between the videos, you answer questions so that they know that you understand, um, you know, that you've, you've been trained, that you understand how to work with kids and what to watch out for to make sure that they're safe. Anything else? Yes. Yeah. The 815 snacks, Paula Onesian is going to be purchasing some healthy snacks for us. So um, it'll be maybe one day it'll be bagels with with cream cheese and, and fruit and, the ne and water, and then the next day it'll be, um, you know, Veggie burritos or something. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, no. Yeah, she'll provide. Yeah. And yours will help as well. What was that? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 
it. I get it. I get it. So set of day is is the 16th. I didn't look at my phone. The what? 16th of July. And it's the 17th of July, which is a Sunday. Okay. And, uh, no, a Monday, I'm sorry. The 16th is, is a Sunday, which is where we all uh, show up together. And um, it's kind of like uh, a, a work bee. <laughs> you know how they used to do work bees a long time ago? Some of the people that are my age or older. We did work bees at church, and we all worked together in whatever program, program was going on, whether it be BBS or or painting, or whatever it was. It was a lot of fun. Do you know what time on Sunday you to be playing? Sunday? Uh, it's 1 to 5, right? Heidi, is it usually 1 to 5? 1 to 5. In the past, we had Sunday church. We didn't have access to oh. the So in the past, it's been later. What oh, okay. 1 to 5 sounds great, but we do have a church that rents on Sundays, so that might not be possible. But I, I, I will try. Yeah, we'll try and see if we can get in there. Two is pushing it. Three is realistic in the past. Yeah. So. Okay, we'll see. Yeah. So three to seven. Let's just say three to seven for now, and I'll see if I can get it earlier. Yeah, and then you know what? I think we need to do it later because then we have to consider dinner. Oh yeah, dinner. So we don't want to be hungry. We don't want to be angry. Okay, so there's um, 
So Cindy says, anybody who's interested in doing skits, that she's happy to practice with you for the opening and closing. <laughs> or if it's, yeah, we can always, if you don't give anybody, like I said, you don't have to stress out about it. Uh, I, I, I haven't been as fortunate to do everything at the time, uh -huh. but in the past, my husband's come, he's just loved watching the big kids, you know, you guys, do the doing skit. the skit. And he just, did, and I know the kids look up to you guys so much, so I'm happy to you guys. <laughs> Yeah, it's really important, guys, that you guys remember the kids. The kids look up to you. Listen, listen. You guys are going to be their heroes at the end of the day. These five to six kids that you work with, you got, they're going to be like, oh, Nivon, or oh, my goodness, Mariah, or oh, Julian, you know, whoever, <laughs> or Peter, whoever, Stephen, whoever is going to be a counselor. They are going to love you. They're going to be, I, my kids, when they, uh, when they went to VBS the first time here, afterward, they really looked up to the, the guy that was their counselor, and they were just so happy. And whenever they saw, saw him, they are like, oh, Mommy, that's my counselor. <laughs> so, yeah, so remember that. Yeah. I know you were all so eager, so I thought uh -huh. it was closer. I'm supposing you have all the crafts in. Yes, I have, I have um, a lot of skins. And it has yeah, come pick them up. Come pick them up. Come, come pick them up. Whoever uh, wants to pick up some yeah. stuff, I have a like bunch of stuff in the office. I'm going to love you. And, um, and I'll be happy to, to give you whatever you need, including awesome. DVDs and stuff like that. Are we done? All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming, and we will see you at the next training session. I'll send you an email uh, like I did today, or a text like I did today, okay? Thank you.